Hello, it's Carol again, and I thank you for joining me at this uh, crafting. But before we begin, the new Carol is going to share some of her uh, rabbit hole visits before I get to uh, what I want to work on today. This is one of my, uh, my digis. And uh, as you can see, uh, the craziness bug hit me a little bit. I looked and looked at this uh, runoff, and I just ran it off on a nice quality buff paper. Uh, and I kind of looked at it some more, and I said, well, now, what would happen if? And yes, the craziness took hold, because it's uh, definitely in that category. I did some... Uh, cutting out of the uh, holes in this eyelet and then I decided not to overdo because uh, I didn't want to uh, overwork these uh, these old paws so I said hmm I think I have a contraption and I do whoops and I do well that's how that comes out I was wondering you just hold it upside down and all of that stuff falls out. And what doesn't fall out, you push out with a pin. Well, that was a good piece of luck. Rabbit holes are so much fun. Now, uh, so I use this to cut some of the holes because... All right, now, let's see. Rabbit hole one, rabbit hole two. I thought to myself, self, this would look very nice if uh, there was some color coming through those holes now that you've cut them. I've also decided that I'm only going to cut down um, to about here on the page. Because after that, I would probably have to go to a, uh, a place where they uh, keep people like this. So, I said, hmm, if I pick out a piece of solid paper, and I put this here. Oh my, oh my, I said to myself, yes. This will work with the, uh, the project I'm going to work on today. So, I thought, hmm, let me make a copy so that I can use this. I can keep this aside so that I can put other colors, etc., under here. So that this led to this, led to this. Let me get this out of the way. Uh, and today's project. Here we go. At our last visit, I was working on this, uh, this wonderful uh, paper uh, to make some pockets, and I said, Mm, I think I'm going to use this. And I was already percolating this idea. So, uh, I cut this as a, uh, as a template, the way I had planned to do. And here it is. And then, what I did was, I, uh, I cut these with scissors on both sides. And I was going to fold it in half, and I thought, no. If I don't fold it in half, I could have this pretty edge, double edging. And then, uh, at the edge of a paper, here we go back to my, uh, my pickup journal. And pickup journal is uh, going to her new home in, uh, in July because I st have this, uh, these last two bits to finish and then, um, and then work on the cover. So, this was my plan color-wise for this uh, this divider and I had to cover this back and front. I'm going to set these aside. So if I attach this here hmm if I attach this so that 
I only glue here, here, and here, this would attach, even though this is a, uh, a pocket, I would, if I attach that there, I would glue it down, and I would have this pocket. I would also have the back of this. That would be a pocket. And then, if I just glue these two side bits here, in turn, I would have that pocket. Well, why not? So, my plan for today is to use this on this back pocket and to work on the front. That's the plan. So while I was at it, I was uh, borrowing, borrowing around to find uh, this pad of solid sheets of paper, and I am so glad that I got that. This is its first use. This gets set aside, and so I got out a piece of my new uh, straw paper that uh, uh, Rachel sent at, from Roxy Creations, sent to me from Italy, and oh, I just love, I just love the naturalness of this paper. I'd seen uh, Gail and uh, uh, Rachel use this paper, and so I uh, treated myself to uh, two packets from Italy. And uh, yes, the uh, shipping was a little high, but uh, I have a nice, uh, I have 20 sheets of it now, and uh, it's going to, uh, going to come into good use. I'm going to use this here on this page, and I'm also, I also found uh, this in another uh, uh, pad. Good colors, I thought, for back here because of of this. So the plan is there's something going on in my head. Whether or not it will work, whether or not it will come to fruition, I have no idea. So, oh yes, this is out to show you that uh, this is what I use to uh, cut. And of course, I use my X-Acto and my contraption for the, uh, for the eyelet cutting. Now, where else was I? Oh yes. I also, now anyone who knows me knows that, that wasn't going to last for too long. All right. I also got out my, um, another rabbit hole number two, maybe three, uh, my naked journal. And I, uh, I wanted to test to see if this would work because I tried to get a kind of a generic length and uh, let's open to something something and because I have plenty of somethings in here would this work oh it's just such a tiny bit too much so just a little uh, fine-tuning cutting would uh, give me the same effect in uh, in this journal yay so setting that aside and this I'll just leave these over this over here as a uh, as a little eye candy for my uh, memory bank, and uh, we will uh, we'll begin here. Well, now that I have uh, oh yes, there's lots of things to talk about. I know. Here's another rabbit trail. Um, my new uh, printer, which I'm sure. You're going to get so sick of hearing. It's not the only print in the world, but it's new to me. And I've discovered scanning. Now, my husband's been telling me to scan since I started doing this, and uh, I wasn't having any of it. But now that I have this little puppy right over here that I can just reach over to, um, I decided to uh, take some time uh, last evening and uh, this morning and uh, scan in uh, some of the uh, pieces that I have been working on uh, because I thought, well, they would be, uh, I could tear these apart and uh, use them, and uh, why not? So, I, uh, I didn't use my uh, heaviest paper. I used a, a cardstock, but it's rather light, and uh, it was only $3.33 in uh, uh, AC Moore. And when I got it home, I realized that there was a, uh, a uh, soft matte side, and one with a little bit of, um, one with a little bit of, uh, oh, let's say, 
tooth to it, so um, I had to call him this morning and make sure that I had put the paper in the uh, tray correctly because this stuff is all new to me. So I did these papers. Uh, for, I'd scanned them uh, the day before yesterday, and so I uh, scanned things that I have done, and I thought, well, wouldn't these be nice if I use them in uh, little clusters, etc.? So now I have these. This was my last project, for those of you who uh, saw it. And so this is uh, another Carol discovery. And uh, I hope that you uh, might consider doing the same thing because it's, uh, it becomes so useful. Uh, while looking around for this, uh, for this I, uh, I went and found this. I want to use more, I want to use more fabric. Well, here we go. This is going to work. Oh yes, it is. Hmm. Yes, it is. How much of it do I need? Oh, down to there. I do hope that uh, you are having a, uh, a good day today. Did you get some time to do some uh, crafting? This uh, this paper, well, at least the uh, the. Uh, source of the template uh, was with the, probably the only thing I have found in Jacksonville, Florida in, uh, in Goodwills that uh, I was able to use in my crafting. Other people seem to find wonderful things, but I don't know. It just doesn't happen. But that did, and I love the shape. So, let's go to about there. Is that going to work? Yes, it is. Um, and while I cut, I, uh, I wanted to let you know that, uh, yes, I realize that I'm, uh, I'm late today. I usually have a uh, video on Thursday morning, and here it is, uh, 9.30, and uh, this is the video for Thursday. But yesterday it was uh, just necessary for me to take my bones to uh, my chiropractor because uh, my back was looking to be, uh, was looking to turn a little bit obnoxious. I haven't gotten there yet, but uh, I know my back and it was, uh, it was in need of my chiropractor. I do believe that without a chiropractor, life would have been uh, quite tricky uh, because way back in the uh, dark ages of uh, 1967, I remember the minute and the hour, of course, uh, when I was teaching in a uh, small village in uh, upstate New York, outside of Binghamton, New York. Uh, I would uh, go to lunch because in those days uh, teachers had an hour for lunch. I would go to lunch and if I walked along to go to a special little uh, ice cream parlor that did an absolutely delicious uh, grilled cheese. Uh, twice I fell because one of the merchants uh, was too lazy to um, uh, shovel. Uh, well, he shoveled, but he didn't scrape the ice. And uh, unbelievably, but uh, unbelievably true, but uh, that was the way you got there and you had to go that way. Uh, and the uh, drifts of snow were piled on. Well, you'd, anybody who's lived in it nose. Um, there, my little, uh, my legs went out from under me, and I uh, fell down uh, on my coccyx, and uh, I thankfully, if everything bad comes something good, I suppose, um, thankfully, I uh, had good heavy winter coat on. So that padded, somewhat padded the fall. 
but taking into consideration that I probably weighed uh, 95 pounds wet, um, and, you know, I was a kind of a bone rack, um, I thankfully had that, that heavy coat, so that helped my back to a certain extent, and uh, I didn't brain myself because uh, I had a, um, a, a fur hat on that was tight to my hair, and I had a lot of heavy hair in those days, and I had uh, that fur, lined fur hat on, and uh, it didn't fall off, and it stayed with me because it was uh, under the chin. Um, I think it was raccoon. Um, I didn't hurt my head. And in those days, you know, there was an, in a village like that at that time of, uh, you know, lunchtime, there was nobody around. So I had to uh, look around and test for broken parts and then pick myself up. And uh, yeah, I was young enough to haul myself and have lunch. And, uh, but about uh, a month later, I was being careful, very careful, walking by that store. And uh, it was a piece of, it was a bit of ice. And uh, <laughs> number two, feet up, Carol down like a rag doll. Same spot, same, I mean, same part of my body, and the uh, same result, and since then, uh, my back can get uh, annoying, and uh, through from so from 1967 on, uh, chiropractors have uh, have helped me tremendously, because I'm, uh, I'm not a girl to, to uh, medicate for things like that, if I can help it, and so, uh, yesterday, when I was feeling uh, my back decided that it was going to uh, my character. I uh, I went to my uh, my current my current chiropractor, and I truly do not know what I would be doing without the benefit of uh, chiropractors. And I even now that he's getting older, aren't we all? Um, he is. Uh, he has found a, uh, a a young a young chiropractor. Is probably going to uh, eventually uh, take over his practice. Maybe if I put my glasses on, you could see this, Carol. Uh, so I'm feeling secure about that because uh, Dave has been uh, chiropracting since 1978. And, uh, you know, it's time for him to uh, slow down a little bit and smell the roses, although he does love being a chiropractor. And he is a good one, probably the best one in Jacksonville, as far as I'm concerned. And I've been going to him here in Jacksonville for, uh, oh, at least uh, 35 years. And he makes, uh, he makes my back sing. And that was why, when I came home, I decided to, now that I'm, uh, I am of an age, I uh, rest now after it. I don't go on and think that, uh, I don't go on and think that I can just uh, come home and gallop around and do what I needed to do. So I was resting yesterday, and that's why, that's a long story to tell you why this, uh, this video is going to be late today. I'm glad I checked that. You know, running my mouth and telling you all I know, whether you need it or not, is uh, can lead to little calamities. Okay, don't think you're going to do that. No, you're not. The start. Yes. And now, I don't know if I want to completely cover that right.
writing. It's really quite nice. But why don't I just put on some uh, put on some bits and see what happens? some more. Maybe some more. Maybe that one has no white edging and this one, uh, and this is a uh, not a white background but uh, this white core of the paper shows a little bit. That, uh, that's all right. That's a little bit of variety. something something isn't it let's see shall we do that now I know that I'm not going to be happy unless uh, oh, I want to try this straw paper these edges uh, these edges are not uh, well, I'm going to tear anyhow. I'm sorry, I'm mumbling to myself. There. Nice, nice color. Maybe a little, uh, a little music. You know there's music in here. There. No. Don't want that music. This music. This paper is so crisp that it breaks. It's really something. But I just love the color of that paper. Okay. I only want to hear your voice and gaze whatever. Ah, oh, yes. Let's have a little bit of that right there. Only because it's necessary. Wondering if a little bit of this party maze on vellum might be uh, might be nice. And there's only a part of a uh, butterfly. That's very nice too. This butterfly might just take itself right to the edge over here. Yes. of a carol flower here. So we have, uh, yes, let's do that at kind of a right angle. Down here. Balance. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get these uh, pieces of collage glued down. I'm going to, uh, distress the edges, but I'm thinking that, uh, let's see, I do believe that I have in my little trove of, why I think I have the ink that I'm looking for. Nope, 
I know. Maybe here. Slowly but surely, I have been increasing this uh, this stash. Maybe fossilized amber. Why do I think this should? Oh, I think I'm thinking uh, stays on. Yes, I'm thinking stays on. Okay, so these back in the drawer. And I think I'm going to use a little of the, uh, dis <coughs> excuse me, a little bit of the distress oxide uh, around the pieces of collage. I will be back very quickly because I do want this. Uh, get this video out today. So here we are all glued down and uh, I used vintage photo around the uh, perimeter of the uh, main uh, fold and uh, the uh, fossilized amber looked uh, very nice around the uh, collaged bits. I agree with uh, Rachel on uh, Roxy Creations that uh, uh, Distressing is not always necessary, and it is certainly, according to Carol, not always necessary in uh, colors of that area, of that type. So, I ripped this. I don't know whether we're going to use it, but I uh, used my uh, my stash and uh, picked this this one, and then I found the uh, this little leftover bit, and... I found the uh, tailless birdie, and so I just thought he'd be nice. I want he's blending in. Uh, he's not standing out and good because I really don't want him to, but he's there nonetheless. And there, I thought that might work for a start, and here know what, uh, what what's going to happen here but a piece of uh, a piece of my glimmer misted cheesecloth here might be nice kind of uh, ruched down here, like that, maybe. And then I found this, and I thought, oh my, yes, let's have a little smidge of this, uh, of this ribbon, because right there, the uh, bit that shows is a, uh, is got yellow in it. So, maybe that, and maybe that. I don't know. Let's see. Well, it's not going to cooperate because it's been folded for so long. Huh? Maybe. This uh, eyelash has, look at that, oh yes, that is so calling my name. And I'll take it right back here. And let's see what happens here. you a little bit uh, closer here. Hmm. Something, something. I'm liking it so far. Yes, I am. However, how 
whatever. Sometimes something as simple as this just makes a necessary statement. And maybe one down there. And of course we have to have one more. Oh uh oh. Let's have that one. And that one. Are we on the mic? Yes. Yes. So, I'm going to leave that aside and I'm going to work over here on the easy bit. And that little head and taillessness has to go right along the line of the, uh, has to go right along the line of the uh, straw paper. Yes, it does. Going right along the edge here with this nice fine line, including on the beak and the head, because that should do it. And right along there. And this should be next. This is going this way. So this has to be here. I want the birdie to be uh, showing, but not too much. So next, next is this one. And here again, I'm going to get out my magic tool here. Very nice. And the flower. Um, Hemerocallus stelladoro. Yellow daylilies. it is. here. And one here. Okay, which way is it going to go? It's going to go that way? Or that way? Hmm. This way. Just a peep in here. Alrighty. Now. Well, I also wanted to share that uh, I was quite happy with this new fossilized amber. And I picked its uh, its own um, sponge with an FA so that I wasn't uh, wallowing every time I needed to use it. So let's see now. 
what we have here. There you go. All right, let's get this out of your way. I bet you know that I can't possibly do this without some uh, wax paper. Not happening. always find some uh, in this uh, in this um, roll that I got at uh, Tuesday morning oh last year I always find some color that I need to use in this uh, packet of uh, abstract printed uh, paper uh, fabric I noticed that uh, they have some more of it. Must, uh, must come around again. All right, let's do. Let's do this. And oh my 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 my. I watch others use this. They seem to make the most wonderful little nests of of pretty. Let me, let me try. This has not been my uh, strong suit. I guess if I make a circle. Sounds logical. But then what has logic to do with uh, junk journaling? See, there it is sticking out and it shouldn't be. And it's all over my nails, but 91% alcohol will cure that immediately. All right, now you're going to stick to it, Carol. This is not a good idea. That's better. Okay. And now, this, and I want this to fray a little bit, so. woven ribbon. Nice woven ribbon. And I'm going to put that on that way. Right there. 
Oh, about right there. Yes. This one. Right here. Oh, I might as well put a little bit of glue here. It's a little close to the edge. Now, so a double pocket for uh, the last divider in the pickup journal. And I'm tickled by this and I'm not going to put up, uh, I'm not going to put anything there. That's just going to be, it's going to be that way. Well, rabbit holes included, this has been just fun for me and I certainly hope it has been, uh, it has been for you. If you have enjoyed today's craft along, please give me a thumbs up leave a comment, and uh, I would appreciate your subscribing to my channel. Let's have a, uh, let's have a close-up look at this. Oh, I know what I needed to do to Birdie's eye. I have a thing about birds and their bright eyes. And just chalk it up to uh, another Carol Strange. Let's see, I'm going to use our uh, glossy accents here. It says in the fine print. Um, another pin necessary. Here we go. Let's see if we're going to have any, uh, if it's alive in there. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. One dot of glossy accent on that eye. And that. Well, I remembered my husband would be so proud. Now, he's out, uh, he's out practicing for the Nationals, which are uh, coming in the middle of July at Muncie, Indiana, so he's out flying his airplane today, fine-tuning it. All righty. Now I'm going to, of course, set this aside now for at least um, 24 hours. I overdo because I really want this to be a bright, shiny eye and not lose any of its shape or uh, dimension. Bye for now.